So everyone is trying to figure out what's up with Damian Lillard. Through the first 12 games of the season, he's shooting a substandard 25% on his threes at almost 10 attempts per game, way below his career efficiency. There's no other way to put it. Dame is struggling, and we can't dismiss this as small sample size anymore. When looking at a player like Dame, you can't just say he's shooting horribly from three and that's it. There are all sorts of components that make up a poor shooting percentage, and sometimes it's just a lack of rhythm, which is crucial to making shots from 25 feet out. If you're not swinging the arms up in sync with your legs straightening into the jump, it can lead to plenty of bad misses. And if you're trying to add some rhythm in your life, then you need to check out Amazon Music. It isn't just for podcasts. With thousands of music stations and top playlists, all for free, no credit card required, so you'll be shooting better than Dame in no time. Plus, they've got more than 10 million free podcasts to listen to, including mine, of course. In order to figure out what's wrong with Dame's shooting, we need to separate his off-the-dribble shots from his catch-and-shoot attempts. When he doesn't have to bounce the ball before shooting, he's at 33.3%. As you can see, that's way below his normal percentage. I charted his footwork to see if there were certain methods that worked better than others. He made all three of his catch-and-shoots going right-left into the shot. This makes sense since he's going left on two of these and his body's already aligned to the hoop because his shooting arm and hip are pointing to the rim the whole way. His most common footwork is left-right and it's also his lowest percentage of all his catch and shoots. When catching the ball without moving beforehand, he's at 33%, but these should be the most open shots he gets, and that percentage is simply too low for a guy shooting this high of volume of threes. And because these are the easier shots for him, I'm willing to predict these numbers will return to normal sooner than later. Now, the vast majority of his threes come off the dribble, and there are some interesting trends with his footwork there. Left-right is the most common, but barely. He's taken 28 shots that way and hit 24% of them. When utilizing the hop, he's taken 26, mostly going to his left, but has only hit 13% when lifting both feet in the air before springing up into the shot. I don't have exact numbers for prior years, but in my mind's eye, I know hopping into the shot for Dame is usually the highest percentage he has. That said, the hop requires good core strength to handle the explosive and quick spring up into the shot. You might have forgotten, but reports after the Olympics said that Lillard had been playing through an abdominal injury, which could certainly explain his poor shooting in Tokyo, and that this has been something he's been dealing with his entire career. Perhaps it's still an issue, and Dame is the type of guy not to use anything as an excuse, so it's possible he's in pain and just trying to get through it. When I'm in pain, I find myself going hands-free with Alexa to ask her to play my favorite 80s tracks on Amazon Music or laugh it up with a smartless pod. Jerry Seinfeld was on this week, and what's the deal with that? For a limited time, get Amazon Music for three months free by going to Amazon.com slash bball. Renews automatically, cancel anytime. With Amazon Music Unlimited, you'll have access to over 75 million songs, as well as podcasts, music videos, and more. With a library of entertainment that big, I'm positive Dane will be coming out of his slump sooner than later. When shooting off the dribble with the left-right footwork, he's hitting 40% of his stepbacks and 37.5% when going to his left, a lateral version of the stepback. We've got some good close-ups from the season to analyze his shot and what's happening when it's working. Here's the left-right where he times the bottom of his dip to the right foot plant before swinging the arms up into the shot, getting to his set point just as the toes lift off the ground. With this kind of energy transfer, the arms can simply act as a fluid mechanism to ensure the ball stays in line with the hoop. The only right-left makes he's had off the dribble is moving to his left, and you can see how he adds the slightest dip after the gather, going from just above the knee to knee level and beginning the arm swing up right as the left foot plants. The ball gets to the set point a couple of frames before the toes lift off the ground, but the rhythm is there, and he's got a clear look at the rim as the ball drops through. Check the turn on this off-the-dribble shot. It's imperative you get your right hip and shoulder in line with the basket, and this requires the feet to be turned as they plant into the hop. Having looked at all his shots this season, I don't see this being as much of an issue. But there are times when the turn gets miscalibrated and can throw off the entire shot. He has yet to make a sidestep right-left three-pointer to his right. And he's 0 for 7 on left-rights going to his right, which is the most natural footwork for a righty. With Chauncey Billups running the show, there's an indication that Dame is getting more catch-and-shoot shots, which are generally going to be more open and thereby easier to make. And that's a great sign for an already potent offensive attack. Short of any physical issues, there's no reason why Dame won't regress to the mean and get back to shooting around league average on his jumpers. 
It hasn't affected the Blazers' offense overall, which currently ranks 8th in offensive rating, which also means that once Lillard gets going again, how far up will their offense climb? Their schedule hasn't been easy, and there aren't a lot of holes coming up where they can get a few favorable matchups in a row and start a winning streak. If you'd like me to analyze your jump shot in this kind of detail, click on the link below and we can connect on the Expert X app, where you'll send me video and I'll respond with my analysis in ways to almost guarantee you'll shoot better quickly. Like, subscribe, and comment down below for more content that you'd like to see. After all, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You in?